Today we're making some Hawaiian chicken with an, a beautiful marinade. It's got a lot of um, spices in it. We've got pineapple, coconut milk, some ginger, garlic, a lot of good stuff going into that marinade that just really makes this delicious. And we're gonna grill up some bell peppers with this and grilled pineapple. Then we're gonna serve it over a bed of coconut rice. It is delicious, guys. You're gonna love this. And it's pretty darn healthy. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after my chef joke. What does a Hawaiian spider do in his spare time? He surfs the web. <laughs> to start off our recipe, we're gonna to need to marinate our chicken. So we're gonna make the marinade first. Now I'm using chicken thighs here. These are boneless, skinless, and it's about a pound and a half, maybe a little more. For our marinade, we're gonna need some coconut aminos. This is a soy sauce alternative. I'm gonna pour all of my marinating ingredients into this dish here. Next, we're gonna add some chicken broth to this. And don't forget, you can find the written recipe below the video in the description area. Next goes some coconut sugar, fresh minced garlic. I like to smash a lot of garlic into this, just like you would the like button if you're enjoying this video. We're gonna add some fresh ginger to this, so go ahead and take your ginger nub and peel it and then grate it right into your marinade. We're also gonna need some toasted sesame oil and some coconut milk, along with some pineapple juice. Well, you can use fresh if you want, but can is very convenient. Just make sure to read the label and use the one with 100% juice. Give the marinade a good stir to mix everything up and dissolve the coconut sugar, and then add your chicken. You're gonna to wanna to marinate this at least two hours, but I'd probably go up to four or even six hours would be great. Cover this with some plastic wrap and in the refrigerator it goes. After a couple hours of marinating, you're gonna to wanna to rotate the chicken just so everything gets into the marinade really well. Then back in the fridge for another couple hours. Now it's time to make our coconut rice. It's super simple to do. Here's what goes into our coconut rice. I have some coconut milk, some water, long grain white rice, a little bit of coconut sugar, and a little bit of salt. I'll place all those ingredients into a pot except for the rice. Give that a stir, and once it comes to a boil, we'll add the rice and cook it according to the package directions, which is covered for about 20 minutes. Now I'm gonna prep up my grill pan here where I'm gonna cook up the chicken. You could always use your barbecue grill if you wish. So just coat your pan with some olive oil here, and I'm using a brush to spread out the oil. And you wanna preheat your pan over medium-high heat. Once your pan is hot, go ahead and lay that chicken right on the grill. This is going to cook for probably four or five minutes on each side or until you get an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. With the leftover marinade, you're going to want to pour that into a pan and heat it to a boil and then simmer it until everything's ready to go. One of the reasons why I like to use thighs instead of breast in this recipe is because they don't tend to dry out like breasts do. So use an instant read thermometer. They're really your best friend. So here it's time to pull the chicken off. Just place it into a nice deep dish and we'll pour that marinade that we've been uh, simmering right over the top. Back at the grill pan, we're going to place our bell peppers. I have some chopped up bell peppers here right on the grill pan along with some pineapple. Now we're going to grill these up until we get those nice lines on our pineapple and get some charring on our bell peppers. That's going to take, you know, five to seven minutes on each side. It must be time for chef joke number two. All right, why is it better to play craps in Hawaii? Because it's a tropical pair of dice. <laughs> now here's our beautiful coconut rice that's just finished. And I'm just fluffing it up a little bit. And now I think we're ready to serve this up. Now, one way that you can serve this up is what, do what I'm doing here, is I'm putting it on a platter, put out the rice first. That'd be our first layer. Here comes our bell peppers, nice and charred up. And then we'll stack on those chicken thighs. And then the pineapple. Then I like to finish it off with some freshly chopped parsley. Now, if you like cilantro, you could use that as well. Uh, the flavors in this are so delicious. They're a little sweet, there's a little tangy, 
There's a little bit of soy flavor in this. It's really wonderful. So I think you need a little dessert to go along with your Hawaiian chicken here. So I was thinking a lemon pudding cake would be the perfect finish to a delightful meal. Click the link on the screen and it'll take you right to the recipe. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by smashing the old like button. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe. Cheers.